For our MathFinder project, we decided to focus on three very broad mathematical themes and provide you with some starter questions for each of these themes. The theme we're focusing on in this video is geometric shapes and transformations. This includes all types of 2D and 3D shapes, ways of figuring out how much space they take up or can hold, and ways of moving these shapes in space and transforming them. What's a starter question? Well, it's our way of giving you a convenient starting point on your journey to come up with your own math-related question. One that falls under a general math theme that's connected to the place you're in right now. This theme looks at how noticing properties of shapes in our surroundings can help us to understand the world. Measuring area, volume, and surface area of shapes can help us understand the functions of different designed and natural objects. Transforming shapes through movements like rotations and reflections can create important mathematical patterns. Now, if you decide you want to come up with a math walk stop around this theme, we suggest you first spend at least 5 to 10 minutes noticing your space or object. Use your senses to really take note of as much as you can. Then use one or more of these starter questions to help you develop your own math walk question at this location. So pick one of these starter questions, continue to notice, and now begin to brainstorm questions around the question you're thinking about. If you're with some friends, you can do this together. Brainstorm questions around one of the starter questions for this theme. The only rules in brainstorming are that you take the task seriously and there are no judgments. You can go ahead and brainstorm around each of the starter questions if you like. We think it's a lot of fun to marvel at the volume of math-related questions you can come up with in any place. When we looked at the lunar module at the museum, the first starter question about shape jumped out at us. We still spent some time brainstorming more questions, beginning with that first starter question. We brainstormed a bunch of questions around that first starter question. We also played with the second starter question about volume. We were interested in thinking about the interior space as we imagined how it felt for the crew inside. How much actual space did they have in terms of volume? We learned that shorter astronauts had an advantage over tall ones just because the amount of space inside had to be limited. This was fascinating to us. We could have developed this question further, and we think it would have been a really great math walk stop too. Why didn't we? Well, I guess we were just more grabbed by the shape of the lunar module, and maybe we will develop a second version of a math walk stop around the volume question sometime soon. It comes down to personal preference. There's really no end to the questions that we could ask. So the third part of creating your math walk stop is to select one of the questions you brainstormed as your focus for your stop. Select one question from your brainstormed list. And then you get to answer your question based upon your observations, your measurements, your estimation, whatever it is you need to do to answer the question. Your answer can be precise, it can be an estimate, or it can be a strategy. So here's our personalized math walk question for the lunar module stop at the Frontiers of Flight Museum in Dallas. Here's one from a magnolia tree we spent some time observing at the Dallas Arboretum. You can imagine that just like with the lunar module, we actually brainstormed a list of other questions about the magnolia tree before deciding we wanted to focus on this particular question. 